Hi, this is Joe, and welcome to my shop. This is the second video in the series of money-saving ideas for the shop. It's January 2016. Uh, I just picked up a Milwaukee portable bandsaw, and we're going to be making a vertical base to hold the bandsaw. Now, there's several other YouTube videos out there that make a stand. Um, I've watched those, and we're going to take sort of the best ideas from all those videos and come up and configure a base for the uh, Milwaukee Portable Bandsaw. Um, the bandsaw that I have looks a bit different. There's some minor modifications, so we'll be taking a look at those. Uh, let's walk over to the, to the workbench and take a look at uh, the configuration that I've set up. Here's the basic configuration of the Portable Bandsaw stand. As you can see, most uh, of, the, of the tubing is square tubing. It's three-quarter inch tubing. Um, two outer pieces on each end, or each side. And at the bottom, there's two pieces of square tubing. Up where the handle of the portable bandsaw is going to rest, there's a piece of square tubing. And at the very top, there's a square tubing. Uh, I have put a... A base here to fasten the quarter inch plate to that will act as a, uh, a saw top or rest where the work that you're cutting will will can slide on the saw. Um, I have two different sizes of angle iron here one inch and inch and a quarter. Uh, the wider inch and a quarter is on the right hand side which will butt up against the base of the saw on one side and the other angle will come over and come around the outside or the open side where you can see the blade of the power band saw. We'll cut this uh, steel plate which is quarter inch thick to size and then weld it to the base and then of course this can once the saw is mounted into the base you can then slide it on the uh, cutting surface into the square tubing which is one inch. Uh, what I'll do is I'll post all of the, the uh, exact measurements uh, in the description of this video. What we'll do is uh, we'll go through and tack weld everything and construct it and I'll shoot uh, videos uh, during the process of tack welding and welding and then we'll come in and fit the saw and sh with the level and show you the final minor adjustments before we do the um, uh, the final welding of the base stand. So let's uh, let's pop down to the uh, to the welding shop and tack all these pieces in place and then we'll uh, shoot some more video uh, after the after the frame has been tack welded and then I'll show you the actual saw uh, fitting in the sand in the stand. We'll take a level and uh, measure things up and uh, do some minor adjustments before we do the actual full welding of the frame. We're down in the welding shop here. I've welded the base uh, together and now what we're going to do, as you see, I've uh, clamped the saw uh, down to the base and leveled it out with the level. Now we're going to take the, uh, the side brackets and uh, tack weld those into place double check the uh, the level of the saw against the base and then we'll fully weld the uh, side plates or the side brackets uh, uh, to the base bracket and uh, hopefully get the, the saw uh, exactly lined up and maintain that alignment um, and then continue on welding in the uh, the saw base and uh, after I do that I will come back and uh, show you what it looks like Here we have the base of the saw welded. Uh, we have a, the inch and a quarter inch bracket here. And there is a hole that was drilled in. And this hole matches one of the holes, uh, one of the screws in the handle of the saw. On the other side, the inch, inch angle iron, uh, I made a bracket that's screwed, in, screwed and uh, tapped and screwed and this bracket aligns to a hole on the other side of the saw on the on the uh, the, the blade blade side 
and uh, then we mounted the saw and bolted it down and then we aligned a piece of tubing here and in the tubing will go a uh, slightly smaller tubing and the, uh, the quarter inch plate will mount on here and this could be the, the actual, this is the part of the, uh, the saw base or the uh, top where the, uh, that goes in so you can cut on as from a flat surface. I'm going to assemble the saw now off camera and then we'll come back in and I'll show you how I'm going to fit uh, the quarter inch plate to the base. When we originally mounted the saw into the stand and secured it with the bolts, I then took the upward support here, aligned it with the blade guide and the blade, and then tack welded this in place. Then I could come in with the slide in support. And now what we can do is to get the, these two are exactly, um, this is seven inches, this is five inches. So now what we do is in order to uh, get this, we put a short piece in there and then the long angle too. And then what we can do is mount the plate onto the blade and onto the rest of the saw. And then what we can do is get in underneath and bring the piece of square tube up to the quarter inch plate, take a felt tip marker and mark the location of the square tube and then we can take it over and tack weld it and then come back and do a fitting of the base, the angle plate to make sure uh, it is in the right position to act as a base for cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, tack weld it, come back and we can then uh, take a look at the uh, initial fitting of the, of the uh, quarter inch plate. Now we have the uh, quarter inch plate on the welding table. We have some uh, 90 degree uh, magnets holding this in place. Uh, the square tube, and then it's very important that we take the level and we make sure the square tube is square to the base plate because we don't want this uh, plate at an angle when it's mounted to the saw. So what we're going to do is we're just checking all sides, make sure everything is, uh, is level, and now we can go ahead and uh, tack weld. Okay, we tack welded the uh, tube to the quarter inch plate and slid it in. Basically, it just you put, it, put the plate into the blade through the uh, saw curve split and then slide it down into the square tube and uh, put the level on it and it's not too terribly bad it's still a little loose because I haven't uh, I'm, go I'm going to uh, make a minor adjustment on that but uh, it is very very close to being level so now what I'm going to do is go ahead take it back over to the welding table and uh, fully weld the square tube to the quarter inch plate and uh, but it's just a matter of cleaning up the, uh, the saw base and uh, painting it. So I'll, uh, what I'll do is after I weld it and get it all cleaned up, I'll do another shot to show you that and then I'll show you another shot after it's painted. Okay, here's the finished product. I have uh, the entire stand painted, mounted the base, and if we uh, turn on the saw, runs just fine. I have a, a high-tech trigger lock here. Just a piece of dowel gets uh, placed in the trigger. And uh, there it is. I've tried cutting, I uh, actually cut the slot um, in the quarter inch plate with this saw. Uh, cuts like butter. Really nice. Okay, there's your product. Uh, not too bad for uh, right around ten dollars of materials and, uh, and a couple evenings worth of work. I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, keep checking back uh, on my channel. Thank you.